Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to the channel. You're watching Firewood at the Furnace, and my name is Brad. I know we've got some new subscribers that have came on board here in the past week or so. Some of you have reached out to me and left comments on the videos letting me know that it's your first time here. So welcome. Uh, we appreciate the support. And today we've got the conveyor hooked up, as you just saw in the intro there. And we are going to tow that down the road here about a mile. Uh, the, the mechanic shop for the part-time job that I'm safety director at uh, one of our truck mechanics is going to help me out today uh, with some welding and a little bit of fabrication possibly. Uh, but the goal for today is to get that electric motor on the other side of the conveyor there mounted in a permanent, nice, clean fashion. And then once we get that completed, we might start a little bit of fabrication for the belly pan on the bottom of the conveyor here. I thought I was going to need this conveyor uh, before, but with the changes that are going to be coming here real soon, I'm definitely going to need this conveyor to be operational. So stick around and we'll show you what happens. All right, so here we are, the conveyor's in the shop now. We're here at the, uh, my part-time job and Jerry, one of our mechanics is going to be helping me out here. We've got a couple pieces of styrofoam cut out here for now to try to make some templates for this uh, belly piece on the bottom. But he's getting the welder out and the torch set out. We've got some steel set up over here, some scrap steel that we found that's going to work out well for this, set up over here on the forklift. So we're going to measure some stuff out, cut it out, and see how it works. There's Jerry over there. Say hi, Jerry. Hi, how you guys doing? <laughs> so uh, he's going to help us out here today. So we'll take you along and kind of jump in here as we get Certain steps completed. pieces of styrofoam out just as a like a starter pattern type thing to try to figure out what we were going to do here. Uh, Jerry just got done with the plasma cutter cutting some pieces of steel out so this is kind of what we're going for here and we're going to lay this out now and get it welded up. You can cut that off. I don't need that for anything. 
that off. No way it lays flatter. The house. Yeah, she's a little warmer. Forget where we had this. So we got to get out to the width of this. To the width of it. Yeah. Okay. You got to cut that bolt. Yeah. Cut that out. That one's got to kind of be close to where those are. So we've got this tacked up right here. It's just tacked together, uh, the belly pan. We had it set on the bottom here, and it looks like it's going to work out. Jerry's getting some pry bars and some hammers right now to straighten out this corner. As you can see, it's bent down, a little bit of damage there. So he's going to straighten that out. Then we'll set this belly pan on there and see how it works out. I think that'll work. Question is, are you gonna have anything? How are you gonna weld? How are you gonna run a bead of weld there? It's gonna be out here on the outside. Oh, okay, yeah. And then we can trim all this off after afterwards yeah really the corners right up in there. yep what do you think i think it'll work i think it'll work good deal I wish I had learned how to weld when I was younger. I guess the only way to really learn is to do it. Yeah, pretty much. So the belly pan's all welded on. Jerry did a great job welding that up. Even underneath where this metal was so thin, I was worried we were just going to burn through it. So our backup plan was to just shove some bolts in it and bolt it on, but he was able to make it work. He got the welder adjusted up good. Uh, we notched out the bottom here just a little bit right there so that the, when the paddles come through and come around uh, they don't hit the bottom of the plate there it's 38 inches wide and we heard the banging going on in the last video if you watched that when we were working on the conveyor you heard that banging every once in a while and we weren't sure where that was coming from so we've been investigating that and we figured that 
these holes right here is what we've narrowed it down to. This is where the chain rides and there's a paddle or two that as the paddle rides over there, the bottom of the paddle is catching that hole and making that bang. So Jerry's got a piece that he cut out with the plasma cutter that we're going to lay in there. He's going to patch that over, get that welded in next. All right, so Jerry just re-welded my mess of uh, the motor mounts there. You saw that debacle that I had done there a few weeks ago. It was pretty messy. He took the grinder and cleaned that up, laid some nice weld down there so I don't have to worry about my motor mounts moving around anymore. So we will bolt the electric motor onto those mounts again, get the conveyor running, and see how this patch in the middle of the conveyor is going to work out. All right, so the motor's all mounted back up. We got it aligned pretty well there. That's as good as it's going to get. It's really, really close. And I don't have any worries about the motor mounts breaking off anymore. Uh, the patch that we put in here, we ran, find out where it starts here. It's down here. We ran a bead of weld across it and ground it down to make a nice smooth transition. So we no longer have the holes, which is good, but we do still have the banging. So we think the banging is coming from somewhere underneath as the conveyor runs back down to the beginning. So we'll have to explore that later, but the catch pan is done. The motor's mounted, everything's patched up. We're gonna fill everything full of grease and lube up this chain. And you know what's next, we gotta start sanding this down and getting it ready for paint. All right, so there we go. Uh, not a whole lot of me working today. I've been putting this off for quite a while now because I don't possess the abilities to do what I needed done. Um, we ran into a couple other issues that I didn't even anticipate. The main goal today was to get the motor mounted correctly and cleanly and securely. We got that done. I was hoping to get this belly pan fabricated and completed. Very simple setup. We didn't go overboard. We didn't try to try to make it more complicated than it needed to be. Simply a, a flat piece across the front and then a couple angles down the sides just to open that up as wide as the outfeed table on the splitter. So that way when the wood comes off, it'll kind of channel its way down into this trough. Uh, this is a single chain corn conveyor, so it's not as wide as the other ones you see. Uh, so we had to make sure we were able to channel that wood down into the middle. Uh, we located a couple holes in the trough going up, so we got that patched up as well. Uh, my buddy Jerry was able to use the plasma cutter, the welder, the grinder, the uh, torches, and we got it done. So, like I said before, on to paint now. Um, I'm going to get on that here probably tomorrow. I will start on that. Now that everything is done that I want to do, we can start painting, and maybe eventually I will fabricate and install some grizzly bars on the end of the conveyor. But I want to see how it runs for now. Uh, that's going to be it for today. I hope you enjoyed this video. We're one step closer to getting this thing operational in the yard. Have a great week everybody and we'll see you next time.